For the students and faculty of Midwest Dance Mechanics, Christmas time is synonymous with nutcracker preparations. The first week in December, the cast, faculty, and an army of volunteers gather together to begin transforming this empty theater into a magical land of sweet treats and holiday tradition. Hi, my name is Jana Owen, and I am the owner of Midwest Dance Mechanics. We are so excited that you guys are here for this super special uh, community event. One of the things that is so special to me about it is the opportunities that it provides for our students. All of the dancers that you're going to see on stage tonight are Midwest Dance Mechanics dancers, and all of them are from ages 6 to 18, except for one. Now. Sneak back, sneak, 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 sneak. Shh. That's it. Now, if you just get over, you're very good. You see what I mean? Got Lots of times, a traditional Nutcracker offers those premium roles uh, to either guest artists or college students or pre professional, professional dancers. And I really wanted to give our high school age dancers an opportunity to master those roles and work on the character and the technique involved. Um, and so we are really proud to present to you what is a children's production of The Nutcracker, uh, danced by children for children. And we think that that makes it such a special event. It's Sunday of show week and the many months of preparations are nearing an end. As the trailer is loaded with props, costumes, and the many accessory items needed to produce this show, Jana Owen is watching her longtime dream come to life. So I see this huge trailer filled with props and costumes, and I have to think back to the origins of thinking about a Nutcracker and dreaming about a Nutcracker production that we would put on. Instead of, you know, just keeping it and being like, well, I was told to hold the cheese and then throw it. You need to act it out. What are you doing in your little mouse mind, right? Tell the story for them. We collected props and costumes and, and pieced together over the years what is now a full-fledged production of The Nutcracker, which is such a dream come true. And it's just so sweet to think back to those first beginning days of, of dreaming of what it could be. That dream became a reality in 2018 when Owen was asked by a local arts supporter to consider producing a standalone production to be performed in this theater. With that invitation, the short and sweet Nutcracker was born with the goal of creating a magical event that catered to guests of all ages, but especially young children. Nutcracker is so magical, especially through the eyes of a child, to hear their oohs and ahs as snow is going on and off stage and the Sugar Plum Fairy, it is just magical. So we set out to produce a show that was a little bit shortened in length so that everyone, the young and the young at heart, could enjoy it. Each year, Owen and her staff work to improve the show by finding new and exciting ways to create a memorable experience for their audience. Whether it's new costumes or additional props or enhanced choreography, Owen is always expanding and enhancing her dream. Giving you a peek behind the curtain is one of those ways Owen hopes to share the magic of the Nutcracker. So, let's take a look behind the scenes to watch how this special production comes to life. Long before these theater doors are ever opened, the cast of over 85 dancers has already been preparing for months at their home studio, Midwest Dance Mechanics. The dancers train multiple hours each week, both in the art form of ballet and in a variety of other dance styles. While their weekly Nutcracker rehearsals can last several hours, it is their weekly technique classes that train them for big stage performances, such as the short and sweet Nutcracker. You do have it. It just takes a lot out of you to push yourself that much. Push, grow from this, become the dancer that you are wanting to be through this experience. It is the goal of a choreographer to make the stage performance look as easy and flawless as possible. In reality, there are many tiny details that go into creating a story without words. From traffic flow issues to teaching children how to act without using their voice, Jana and her team tackle every small detail in her effort to create a seamless story for their audience. You need to be like, <gasps> scared, like in your face, in the eyebrows. Show me scared in the eyebrows. They're not moving. 
Move the eye route. Move them around. <sighs> Hi, my name is Trudy Suba. I am the ballet director here at Midwest Dance Mechanics, and we are so excited to welcome you to our Nutcracker. I am very proud to offer a Nutcracker from a studio that I consider a very professional level Nutcracker. So dummies come in, and here we go. So today, oh, one, two, three, four, five. Um, these are the kids that we train day in and day out, and some of them are seniors now and have been with us for so many years. And it's really exciting to see them blossom and grow into these large roles like Sugar Plum Fairy and Snow Queen. Our uh, ballet director, Trudy Suba, we grew up together as ballet dancers and fell in love with the Nutcracker under the direction of Stan and Sharon Rogers. Having Stan and Sharon come in and still give us advice and notes and guidance is um, something we are so grateful for. Um, their uh, expertise and knowledge is invaluable to us and we are so grateful. When the days get long and frustration sets in, Owen transforms from teacher and mentor to chief cheerleader. She helps the dancers find ways to grow and learn from the challenges they face by encouraging them to dig deep into their craft and by assuring them that she believes in them 100%. One, two, three. Ginger cookies! All right, let's go to where we start. Big rolls, but big notes. You're doing great. You're supposed to get lots of notes because you're on stage a lot and there are a lot of people looking at you. So take them as a gift and put them on your tiara and let them shine, okay? The choreographers and dancers aren't the only ones who work hard to create the short and sweet Nutcracker. Our dance parents volunteer behind the scenes to do everything they can from fixing costume malfunctions, drawing whiskers on tiny faces, braiding hair, and many other details to help create a seamless production. They string lights, tie ribbons on candy, bake sweet treats, load and unload props, and anything else that needs to be done to create a special experience for our guests. We are so fortunate to have so many people that work at Midwest Dance Mechanics, whether it is um, in the office or in our costuming department, who really help to bring this show to life and make it all that it could be, both behind the scenes and in the front of house. It truly takes an army of people who are so dedicated to the vision of the show to put it on. When the curtain closes and the final prop is loaded back into the trailer, Owen hopes that she has accomplished what she and her team set out to do. Tell a magical holiday story through the hard work and talent of her dancers that delights audiences of all ages and reminds them that anything is possible when you have a dream. We hope you enjoyed this peek behind the curtain. As a reminder, no photography or videography is allowed during the show. Please take a moment to silence your cell phones. And now, sit back, relax, and prepare to enter the magical world of the short and sweet Nutcracker.